Idris Deby was president of Chad for three decades. On the day of the news of his death, it was announced his son, Mohammed, will lead the country for the next 18 months as head of the Transitional Military Council. Abdul Rahim Yunus, the head of the government airline Al Wasat Party, says there are reasons for the military to take charge. It's understandable that the constitution says the Speaker of Parliament should be in charge, but it's also understandable why the military is the one in charge. What needs to happen now is a dialogue to bring other parties and groups to form a joint military civilian council to lead the country to democratic elections. Idris Deby, who led the country since 1990, died from injuries sustained while leading his soldiers against the Rebel Front for Change and Concord group in the northern region of Kanem. Based in Libya, the group launched an attack on a border position on April 11th. Days of fighting to push them back left more than 300 of the rebels dead and almost 150 captured. The group says there's no way they'll accept Debbie's son as Chad's leader. Chad is not a monarchy. There can be no dynastic devolution of power in our country. The national resistant forces from the Front for Change and Concord in Chad are right now on their way towards Jamena, with confidence but above all with courage and determination. At 37, Mohammed Debi, an army officer, is now the youngest leader in the African continent. Fourteen other military officers are also in the council, which stated that a transitional government will be put in place and that they're not seeking permanent power. C'est pour défendre l'intégrité. We wanted to reassure the public that the members of the Transitional Military Council will hand over power to civilian government after free and democratic elections within 18 months. Chad's constitution, which has been dissolved by the Military Council, states that the Speaker of Parliament is to lead the country in the event of the death of the President. So some opposition parties are calling the formation of a military council a coup. It's not only political parties that are split over the idea of a transitional military council leading the country following the death of Idris Deby. While early election results showed he'd won nearly 80% of the vote, in the weeks leading up to the election, hundreds in the capital demonstrated calling for change, and many boycotted the elections that ended with Deby winning a sixth term. With Deby's death, Chad's residents are divided between mourning him and denouncing the council that's replaced him. The military council says it's going to form an interim cabinet in the coming days and has called political parties and armed groups for dialogue. It's not yet clear who's going to agree to be present at any talks. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, N'Djamena.